All right, what is happening, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are the channel. Welcome back to the channel. I almost had an accent. Maybe I'm having a stroke. Today we are going over a top five list of five great fragrances if you want to stand out. Pretty good fragrances, kind of off the beaten path. They're nothing that you've never heard of, but they're not fragrances that I think get enough love. As always, it's kind of a dead horse topic I like to beat. So let's get into the list. Before we do, as always, guys, you know the drill. If you haven't done so already, I'm not going to say it again. Yeah, I actually am going to say it again in every video until I have a Ferrari like Jeremy. I invite you to at least consider subscribing and ringing the bell. All right, so let's get into this list. Number five is going to be a cheapie that I love, Perry Ellis Portfolio Blue or Portfolio Elite. Um, very good fragrance. Not... Uh, not the most complicated DNA. This reminds me a lot of just, it's really aromatic, kind of like uh, Chanel Platinum Ego East, if you guys have smelled that, or kind of like a Dracar Noir smell or a Armoff Legacy. I reviewed that a while back. Very nice, masculine, kind of old school smell. Some people refer to this as a barbershop smell. Some people prefer the creamier type of barbershop smell. But nonetheless, this reminds me of a barbershop smell as well. Very aromatic, like I said, old school, masculine, good stuff. I don't reach for this style DNA that often, but when I'm in the mood for it, this is a good one. Again, I paid like 13 bucks for this at Ross. Performs pretty well on my skin. I know that's a hot topic for some of you guys. On my skin, it performs pretty well. Six, seven hours, so hopefully the same for you. Should be able to find it you know, pretty readily available at the rack stores. If not, I think on FragranceNet, it's also under 20 bucks. So check this one out. Very good addition to your collection if you don't have too many of the old school aromatic fragrances already. All right, number four is going to be Prada Loam Intense. You know, I've talked about it quite a few times. Everyone has good fragrance. My God, but you will stand out with this stuff. Very nice powdery iris, sweet, very sexy and seductive smelling, in my opinion. Very romantic fragrance. Very incense-y to me as well. Again, I get a lot of crap for saying that sometimes, but I describe fragrances the way I you know, read them with my nose, and this smells incense-y to me. It's very good. Like I said, sexy, alluring, romantic stuff. You are definitely going to stand out if you get your hands on this one relatively affordable depending on where you look but this is a classic fragrance i don't think it'll ever go away it's always going to be loved and held in high regard by everybody i almost had an accent again high regards maybe i'm having a stroke <laughs> this is good stuff though get your nose on this if you haven't already classic stuff all right number three is going to be john barvado's dark rebel nice fragrance i don't talk about enough very very ooh, very dark deep rich leather a uh, little bit of rum, a little bit of tobacco. Very nice stuff. It's pretty wearable for as masculine and, and dark as it is. Again, it just smells like a rich leather jacket. Situationally, I kind of think that you'd want to dress in dark clothes with maybe the sunglasses. You know, like a like a, a fitting part for this fragrance. I don't know if you're going to wear this with a white t-shirt. At least, I don't know if I'm going to wear it with a white t-shirt. Good stuff. I prefer it in the cooler weather. I don't think I'm going to wear this in the highest of heat. But a good one to reach for. Again, also pretty affordable if you can find it at the rack store. Sometimes you can't. It can be a little bit tough to find. I wish it performed better, but that's my only complaint. I get like three hours out of this if I'm lucky. But man, it's sexy. It's mysterious. Deep, rich, dark leather jacket with some rum, some tobacco. Ooh, baby. Good stuff. Before we get into number two, I'm going to take a moment right now to ask you guys to drop me a like. If you can, it would be helping me out a lot. It lets YouTube know the video is worthwhile and the channel is worthwhile. Let's YouTube know you like the video. Maybe someone else would like it too. So I would appreciate your help. All right, number two is going to be Coach Platinum, a fragrance I love. I talk about from time to time. I wish more people would show it love. Oh, you're definitely going to stand out with this one. Very, very sexy and sweet pineapple and vanilla with some creamy woods. This almost smells like you took Dior Homme 2020 and sweetened it up with pineapple and vanilla. I love this stuff. It's sexy. It's a little bit playful. It's alluring and also romantic. A good one for date nights, but also... It doesn't cross that line too far. So in my opinion, this could be a daily driver office fragrance that has a touch of sexy, playful, romantic edge going for it. Good stuff. 
I would say great stuff. Again, I'm really surprised that this doesn't make more lists these days and that more people don't talk about it as often. I try to because I think it's a gem. I'm going to call it underrated, like I said, because not enough people talk about it. Sexy stuff, also pretty affordable, performs very well on my skin. I love this stuff, man. Never gets old. And number one for me is going to be our Moffs Club de Nuit Siage Creed Silver Mountain Water Fragrance. One that I enjoy quite a bit, especially uh, in the summertime. Now, I haven't worn this one in a while. This is an interesting fragrance. To me, it's got a like a sparkling citrus, like a metallic citrus smell. Very interesting. That Silver Mountain Water DNA is just kind of in a league of its own. A very interesting DNA that's a little bit difficult to describe. Like I said, to me, it smells metallic. Like a metallic citrus that's very enjoyable high heat this one shines off of my skin and uh, i always tie this to the scent memory of like car shows i know i talk about car shows all the time something i enjoy a lot up here in uh, kent washington there's a big car show every friday in the summertime and um it's a huge it's a huge it used to be like a wrecking yard and they took the wrecking yard and got rid of all the junk cars. And now it's just an open field. And like I said, every Friday they have great big car shows. And they have a live band playing like old school classic rock. They have food trucks everywhere. Man, it's a lot of fun. You get classic muscle cars. You get some low riders in there. Sometimes you get some import cars, some newer Mustangs and Challengers and stuff. Really, really fun stuff. And that rant doesn't really have much to do with fragrances but it's something I enjoy a lot. And this is a fragrance that I reach for a lot in the summertime when I'm going to those car shows. Just that vibe, man. It fits that vibe, that bright citrus, that sparkling, zesty, almost metallic citrus. When I'm walking through the car show and catching whiffs of myself, I'm just in a damn good headspace. It's enjoyable. That's why I love fragrances. I'm rambling passionately about the state of mind I get into with a fragrance. I hope you guys understand that. I'm sure you guys do if you're into fragrances, but blah, 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 blah. This is my number one spot to smell unique, especially in the summertime. Yeah, it's a classic DNA that everyone kind of knows about, but not too many people reach for this stuff still to this day, so you're going to smell unique. Hope you guys like that list. And uh, like I said before, please drop me a like if you could. It helps me out. It lets YouTube know the video is worthwhile. The channel's worthwhile. It tells YouTube you like the video. Maybe someone else would like it too, so they should show it to other people. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I don't know why you haven't already unless you don't like the content, but I'm sure you do, so you should subscribe. Until next time, guys, I'm going to leave you how I always leave you. Take your vitamins, hit the gym, always stay improving. That's very important, along with smelling unique and good. God bless. Be well. Until next time, I'm out.